The governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, Gordon Imefele, has assured Nigerians that despite the deadline of the February 10th uh, to face out old notes, commercial banks will continue to accept the old notes as uh, provided in Section 20, Subsection 3 of the CBN Act. Imefele made the clarification on Tuesday when he finally appeared before the House Adder Committee on the swap of the new NARA notes. Plus TV, Emmanuel Ijana report as presented. From our studios. The Governor of Central Bank, Godwin Emefili, today finally appeared before the Adoc Committee on the Special Cash Swap Policy, headed by Leader of the House of Representatives, Honorable Ado Dogua, after failing to honor the committee's invitations severally. In his presentation, the CBN Governor noted that the introduction of the new Naira notes was long overdue, but despite the delay, it has helped in curbing insecurity, banditry, as well as revamp the economy. He said out of the over 2.7 trillion Naira outside the banking system in 2022, 1.9 trillion Naira has been recovered by the Central Bank of Nigeria since November 2022. More than 2.7 trillion Naira were outside the banking system. More than 2.7 million trillion Naira is held in people's homes. What that does is that it makes our mandate of monetary policy very difficult. When we are not in control, out of 2.3 trillion, what we see only in the banking system is just about 500 billion. There is no how our work, which you, the lawmakers, has made a law for us to, to, con to carry out. Our work cannot be effective. And that is the reason, and permit me, I will continue to say, and thank the president that in 19 years, we had, we've had an opportunity to carry out this important aspect of our mandate. He further clarified insinuations on insufficient redesigned Naira notes in circulation by assuring that CBN staff and about 159 Nigerians are supporting CBN to ensure that the new currency reach all local government areas in the country. We deployed all our staff, all our staff. We effectively shut down Abuja, shut down Lagos. All staff go to your locality, not just your state, not just your local, go to your locality. We are lucky that we have, in Central Bank, there's hardly anybody who says that in his locality there's nobody working in Central Bank, all over the 36 years of the country. Those people, I, I, I doff my heart for them. They've left their job in the last three and a half weeks. They have been in the villages, in the localities, they take cash, even when the banks are a little bit um, like Kadasikal about it, they take cash from the CBN, maybe take like five million, they go to those localities and do cash exchange. Chairman of the committee, Honorable Dogua, while commending the efforts of the Apex Bank, berated it for not carrying the parliament along in its actions. He said the hardship Nigerians were facing due to scarcity of funds necessitated the action of the parliament. So only if you had communicated this to us much earlier, the crisis would not have come up at all. Nigerians would have gone home to sleep without any fear of let or hindrance. So I want to thank you so much for coming up with this submission, most especially your last statement, the confession you made about the position of the law, that the bank would at all times respect as sacrosanct the position of the laws of the land, of course, which is an act that established the central bank and also provided for the establishment of your good office as governor of the central bank. It's a law that is in black and white, very clear. According to CBN, the exercise has achieved over 75% success in villages across the 774 local government areas across the country. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.